Okay folks, back again with another video. Um, this time I'm going to do a little video of the recent mail calls I've had um, over the last few days. Um, this is the first one, which I was, uh, I've been looking for a while to get actually. It's another one of the Bobber cards. Um, this is the 20 D back. Um, I believe um, so by obviously by this point when this was released the rocket firing bobber was no longer um, available uh, due to the uh, the uh, the child ch choking on the on the rocket so what they did is they blanked out simply blanked out the image of the rocket firing bobber and obviously then um, it was telling people obviously if you did purchase um, five figures, obviously the, the, the seals which you'd cut off, sorry, four, you'd cut off and send off, you would receive, of course, the Bobber action figure. Um, so not to mis mislead anybody, um, uh, all the children who would order it by this point, they would know what they were getting. And of course it was the standard Bobber. Um, what happened later was the 20F back were, came, uh, the card back, that was replaced, they actually, um, covered the, the rocket firing uh, picture of Bobber with not a black sticker, but a sticker showing, or uh, well, just talking about the actual Bobber figure itself, the normal figure. So no mention of any rocket firing. So I've got that one, I've not got this, I've now got this one, and I've got the uh, the 20D back, which is the rocket firing. So I've got all three card backs now. So what I'll uh, do is put it on display with my Bobber mailer, and I think it makes it for a really good piece actually. Um, so this is quite a hard one to get. The black sticker often uh, does come away actually, so this one's firmly on. I uh, got this one from the States, um, got it today actually. So yeah, really happy with that. Uh, so that's my uh, my three uh, 20 backs, C, D and F, uh, which will obviously go behind my Bob and Mailer. So once that's all up, I'll, uh, I'll do a video of that showing it. Uh, another mail call I got, this was on Saturday. I got a couple of factory errors. Um, from uh, a, a chap that I know in Belgium. Uh, now this is, a, if you look at it from that angle, it's a Luke Farmboy uh, tri-logo, the olive hair. Um, I've got the tri-logo just to, just to show you there, the compare. There he is. As you can see, very much the uh, the standard colour, colour hair, the olive hair, which I did a quiz, quiz question on the other, the other day. Um, the same pants, but obviously you turn him round and he has a very different coloured leg. Um, I would call that um, a green, a kind of green leg. So that is a factory error. Um, some would call it degradation as well. De degradation as well. Um, we'll never know, but it's certainly an error for me and uh, it'll go with my other Luke Farmboy factory errors. Uh, so it's a nice little pickup. Uh, it wasn't overly expensive and the same seller, um, I bought this off, so the hair is actually rubbed off. This isn't an unpainted head. The hair is is actually worn away, but the face is unpainted, and uh, so a nice Luke Bespin there, unpainted face. I have got an unpainted face already with blonde hair, uh, so again, just a nice little factory error uh, variant to, to add to the, the Luke Bespin focus. So that was another nice mail call. Um, another one I got recently, uh, were the pegs. Now these, I don't know if you saw the video, you may have seen the video of my early bird uh, unboxing, the early bird package, the envelope uh, with a stand or the stage as they call it, where you put your first 12 figures when they were released um, in February 78. Uh, now what, when the figures did come in February 78 or later that year, you'd got your four figures, the Luke Farmboy, Chewbacca, R2 and Princess Leia. But also, it came with these 12 pegs, and these 12 pegs would then obviously go under the stage, the cardboard stage that came with the early bird uh, pack. And, um, and obviously the, the first 12 figures, you'd stand on these pegs. This is a sealed baggie. Um, obviously, it would have come with the four figures, um, the early bird set. I am gonna probably open this though, I think and I'll use these for my first 12 figures when I when I display the, the first 12 stage, the cardboard stage that came with it. So yeah, I was, I was looking around, uh, ideally for one that was already open, but of course an open one would lose 
the pegs. So the only way I could get 12 pegs would buy a sealed baggie. So this came up on sale um, and I couldn't resist it really. So that was a nice pickup as well. Um, and I'll set that up again and do a video um, soon of, of my first 12 on that stand. Going uh, fast forward to 2020, um, and here, uh, as you can see, many people have probably already seen one of these. They're, uh, they're available in Asda uh, here in the UK, um, Walmart obviously over in the States, and that's the Retro line. Um, I've not done a video on this yet, plenty of people have. Um, I wanted to buy another one because I've already got one of these, uh, along with the Luke Farm Boy and Boba Fett, the three focuses that I, I concentrate on. Uh, but I wanted to get another one because I'm, I'm going to open this uh, one day and do a video. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll open him up and I'll get the the nearest loop Bespin vintage figure that I've got uh, and do a comparison video uh, and just see how it does compare colour wise, you know, the paints, the sculpt. Um, I've seen a few videos of people doing them already, but I just thought I'll do my own take on it. Um, he certainly does look very, very, uh, very good. Um, they've done a really good job on it. Uh, I hate this sticker, but that comes with the, the card, so I guess he stays on. Um, again, I could try and remove that and do a, do a little uh, experiment. I know some people have removed that. Um, I'm going to obviously take this out of the box, so I guess I could. Uh, but yeah, that's for another day. Um, I'll do a comparison with the, the retro Luke Bespin of 2020 uh, to the vintage Luke Bespin of 1980. So we'll see what 40 years difference makes. Um, so I look forward to doing that. And the final mail call uh, was another Luke Bespin, surprise, surprise. Um, and it was this one. Uh, this is my Luke Chinas. This is the, the, uh, the, the Luke Bespin China. As you can see there, the raised bar on the back of the, uh, the left leg. And that is uh, made in China. But unlike this loose Luke Bespin made in China, Probably won't be able to camera to pick it up actually. Um, you can see it now, he has two different coloured boots. So we're getting a factory error. The right boot is the standard boot, what it came, like a tan colour. Um, but on the left boot, you can see it's more of a caramel, caramel colour on his desert boots. Um, so yeah, that was a that was a nice pickup. Um, it came with brown and olive hair. You can just see there as well. On the right, you've got the olive hair with his uh odd boots and on the left you've got the the brown hair it is minimal but it is a different there is a different variant as i say that's the two he's got the normal tan boots on both and then behind him is the uh, the luke china baggy which i picked up recently uh, and i've now got in one of the acrylic cases which uh, which looks great so when people say to me how can you get so many luke best bins well straight away there you've got three within one within one uh, country, so very easily, to be honest with you. So yeah, so that's uh, uh, that's that's now three Luke Chinas. Uh, I've actually got a couple more factory errors, Luke Chinas. Um, so yeah, that's a really nice pickup. I love, just love the, the oddness of these factory errors. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's just a few mail calls I've had over the last few days. And uh, yeah, I'll be doing some more videos very soon. Uh, please click, click subscribe, um, appreciating all the subscribers, all your support, comments and likes, and uh, yeah, more, more videos coming up soon. Until next time, cheerio.